Christine Brown reveals latest business venture, similar to Mary's. Christine Brown has become unstoppable since breaking ties with Cody Brown. She started focusing on herself and became the best version of herself. The TLC star had spent her life taking care of her kids along with the kids of her sister wives in her polygamous marriage. She took care of the household responsibilities to let Janelle manage the work front. Later, Christine started focusing on her professional life even more after ending her spiritual marriage. She was already part of an NLM business and has done remarkable work in the field. Now she has been thriving with her husband, David Woolley. Now it turns out the newlyweds have also launched a new venture together. Recently, Christine shared about her new business with her followers, which is very similar to Mary's. Christine Brown shares new business endeavor with fans. Sister Wives star Christine Brown is full of surprises when it comes to her personal life. She keeps shocking her followers with her new life decisions. Be it her sudden engagement or wedding, the TLC star has been doing really well in her NLM business. Moreover, she has been enjoying her new life after marrying the love of her life. Now, it turns out that the newlyweds have been exploring the professional world together. Recently, Christine took to Instagram to share about her new business venture. She posted a carousel of pictures of her new Airbnb. The TLC star posed with her husband in front of her new place. She wrote, David and I have an Airbnb in Moab. It will be available March 1st. Here's a sneak peek. She was more than excited about her new venture, and the place definitely matched her vibe. Christine informed Sister Wives fans that she would post the links once it is available to have them book the place for an awesome stay. Further, she noted that the location of her Airbnb is just 30 minutes away from the place where she tied the knot with David. The TLC audience is well aware that Christine's former sister wife, Mary Brown, also has a and b Moreover, both the places are in Utah, and they are only four hours away from each other. Mary's Inn is located in Parowan, while Chris Inn's new place is at Mo, which could be a great adventure for the TLC fans. Fans excited to come to Christine and David's new Airm. Christine and David are currently the fan favorites of the series. Sister Wives fans love to get a new glimpse of the couple and their sweet life, so the TLC star's new announcement left fans excited for her new journey. One fan wrote, would love the information. We are heading to Mobe in April. We love it there. Meanwhile, the others showed their excitement and confessed that Mobe had been on their bucket list. A lot of fans requested more information from the TLC stars about the place. Well, it is clear that Christine and David's new business would be a big success. Christine Brown and David Woolley are not just husband and wife. That status was made official during a romantic ceremony this past October. They are also husband and wife co-owners of a brand new home and business. The couple dropped this bombshell during a recent interview with People magazine. We've done a lot of traveling and guess what? We bought a house in Moab, Christine told this outlet this week, explaining in exciting detail, we're going to do an errand with it. We figure everybody should come to Moab and love Moab. So we bought a house there for a way for us to escape too. In an Instagram caption she shared alongside photos from inside of this residence, Christine noted that the location just 30 minutes away from where the newlyweds exchanged vows this past fall. David and I have an Aram bin Moab. It will be available March 1st. Here's a sneak peek. I'll get the link posted when it's available so you can start booking a place to stay for your awesome adventures, the mother of six told social media followers in the message. Earlier this month, Mo, which is home to Arches National Park, was actually named the friendliest city in the United. The house purchased by Brown and Woolley sold for $676,000. The desert home has three bedrooms and two and a half bathrooms and comes with a two-car garage and has over 1,5,000 square feet of living space. Christine and David reside in Leahy, Utah. They went public with their relationship exactly one year ago, on Valentine's Day in 2023. I finally found the love of my life, David. Brown wrote as a revealing caption back then, adding in a gushing tone, the first time he held me close, it felt like my soul took its first breath. He's wonderful and kind, incredible with my children and an admirable grandpa. I never dreamed I could find a love like this. Wow, huh? You could tell it was pretty serious right away. A few months later, Christine admitted that she wasn't looking for the one when she started online dating a couple years ago. 
fans concerned over my Kelty Brown's weight loss obsession, I'm not done yet. Fans concerned over my Kelty Brown's weight loss obsession, I'm not done yet. Sister Wives star My Kelty Padron took to Instagram to share her joy and reflection on her significant weight loss achievement. The TLC personality expressed pride in reaching her original goal weight after embarking on her health journey two and a half years ago. I started my weight loss journey late fall of 2021 weighing 270 pounds. I got pregnant with my twins, unexpectedly, early spring 2022 weighing 245 pounds. My Kelty wrote alongside a mirror selfie that showed off her thin frame. Obviously my journey to a healthier me was changed. Following the birth of twins Archer and Ace in November 2022, she clarified that she weighed 275 pounds and felt she deserved a break to focus on bonding with her babies during her recovery. Mikelty disclosed that she weighed 230 pounds in January 2023, marking the start of when the real work began. Following the birth of twins Archer and Ace in November 2022, she clarified that she weighed 275 pounds and felt she deserved a break to focus on bonding with her babies during her recovery. Mikelty disclosed that she weighed 230 pounds in January 2023, marking the start of when the real work began. I've been consuming a low-calorie, high-protein diet for just over a year now. I take a gut health supplement that helps my body keep the nutrients from food and shed the crap. It's been a lot of work and determination, the reality star explained. I've tried many different recipes and found the restaurants that best meet my needs. My Kelty credited her husband, Tony Padron, for helping and encouraging her during their joint weight loss journey. I currently weigh 160 pounds. I'm not done yet, she added. It's time to start bulking up my muscle. My long-term goals are to live a long life and be able to keep up with my kids as they grow, my Kelty concluded in the lengthy caption. I feel better with more energy and higher endurance than ever. Several of my Kelty's followers and friends rushed to the comments section to praise her progress. You're doing amazing, one person wrote. Janelle Brown added, you guys are rocking it. Way to go. You know what girl, as a mama of boys 11 months apart, same age for a few weeks out of the year, I am proud of you and you are just getting it. A third person chimed in. Great job, Lil Mama. Christine Brown and Cody Brown's daughter shared details about her weight loss journey seven months after Tony, age 29, disclosed how he lost nearly 100 pounds in July 2023, just to drive the point home. Long-term consistency is the only way to true weight loss, he captioned several photos showcasing his progress on his health journey via Instagram. Christine Brown buys $676,000 Mobe, Utah home that she and husband David Woolley are renting out on Airbnb. Christine purchased another home nearly a year after she and David spent $770,000 on their dream home. Christine Brown has dropped $676,000 on a new home in the Utah desert. On Monday, Christine announced exciting news for Sister Wives fans that she and her husband David Woolley have a house in Moe, Utah, available to rent through Airbnb. The listing became available on February 13 when the TV personality shared the public link. Christine purchased the home on January 8, 2024. David, however, is not listed on the deed, so she is the sole owner. With Utah being a non-disclosure state, it is not mentioned on the deed how much the reality star paid for the property. Real estate listings online estimate the home is worth $676,000. The desert home has three bedrooms and two and a half baths. It was built in 2015, has over 1,500 square feet of space, and comes with a two-car garage. According to the real estate listing, it is an excellent investment property that is part of Rim Village Vistas, a master-planned community located in the heart of Moab. Rim Village has hundreds of homes with more being built and many rental homes available for people to rent. Fortunately for the community, there is a heated pool and hot tub, basketball and tennis court, pavilion and play area. As seen on Arabim, homes surrounding Christine's new house are available to rent for approximately $175 to $350 per night, depending on the time of year. It is not known at this time how much the Plexus Ambassador is renting her home for since the listing is not available until March 1. 
What appears to make it a popular rental development is that it's located minutes away from several national and state parks. It's also 30 minutes away from where Christine and David tied the knot at Red Cliffs Lodge in October 2023. The Christine Brown Woolies Retreat Air description reads, Fans of TLC's hit show, Sister Wives, Unite. Owned by Sister Wives star, Christine Brown Woolley and her husband, David, you can enjoy this beautiful and peaceful town home in Mobe, Utah. Peruse the collection of news articles, magazine articles, and family photos. This villa boasts beautiful rim views and starry skies, complete with a two-car garage, seasonal community pool and hot tub and high-speed Wi-Fi. The Desert Escape comes stocked with a selection of board games, cards, and reading material. The kitchen includes a full set of temptations from Christine's personal kitchen, a Hamilton Beach Flex Brew Trio coffee machine, an Instapot, electric mixer, and so forth. The living room, located right in front of the kitchen, features a comfortable sectional sofa and fireplace right above a 55-inch smart TV. As for the bedrooms, the primary bedroom, located downstairs, hosts a king-size bed with a memory foam mattress, and the two guest bedrooms, located upstairs, have queen-sized beds. Also upstairs is a den, which has a queen-sized memory foam sleeper sofa and a 65-inch smart TV. The bathrooms are fully stocked with plenty of bath towels, hand towels, and washcloths, and there are various toiletries, including makeup remover wipes, body lotion, hand and body wash, shampoo, and conditioner. The patio has an outdoor grill along with an outdoor dining area. Christine's new house purchase comes nearly a year after she and David purchased their $770,000 home in Lehi, Utah. This Sister Wives comment from Cody Brown is one of the worst in the show's history. Cody Brown is accused of saying the most hypocritical things. However, one comment about Christine Brown is the worst in the history of Sister Wives. Cody Brown's behavior towards his wives has worsened over the years, causing them to leave him between 2021 and 2023. Redditors agree that Cody's statement calling his relationship with Christine a knife to the kidney was incredibly hypocritical. Despite his bad behavior, Cody deserves sympathy for trying to be a family man, even if he only loved one of his wives, Robin. Cody Brown is tone deaf, but many Sister Wives viewers think one particular statement of his is the worst. The 54-year-old man seemed like a decent husband to his four wives in 2010. He said hurtful things about them, but tried his best to be a good partner. Unfortunately, he completely changed with every passing season. Cody grew more attached to Robin Brown and gaslit his first three wives, Mary, Janelle, and Christine Brown. As expected, the polygamous man irritated his partners so much that they decided to leave him. All three of them broke up with him between 2021 and 2023. A Reddit thread by BeautifulAd7616 shows viewers discussing Cody's worst behavior over the years and agreeing upon his worst statement. Many Redditors felt that Cody calling his relationship with Christine a knife to the kidney was immensely hypocritical. When he said knife to the kidneys, how low can Cody go? The OP commented, this has got to be in the top 10 of worst and least aware of himself things he said. Another wrote, when he said knife to the kidneys, how low can Cody go? People felt Cody's lack of awareness at the moment was too high, especially since his and Christine's daughter, Truly, nearly died from kidney failure in 2022. Cody Brown's cringy behavior explained, Cody has said and done many terrible things to his partners over the years. Recently, it came out that Cody melted Mary's ring just to make a new one for himself. He also told his first wife to move into his barn like an animal. In earlier seasons, the Sister Wives cast member also ranted a lot about Christine. He once said to her that he wasn't attracted to her, wounding her in the process. Most recently, Cody said that he never loved any of his wives apart from Robin. He made the statement just to hurt them for leaving him. Most Sister Wives cast members have had their fair share of bad moments in front of the cameras. However, Cody is probably the only star at the forefront for making the worst statements every year. The Wyoming man made some sense a few years ago. However, he completely lost it after the COVID-19 pandemic, leading him to do some terrible things. Apart from trying to make Janelle kick their sons out of the home, 
Cody did other unspeakable things. He not only made his wives cry, but also hurt his kids by treating them poorly. Despite Cody's bad behavior, he deserves some sympathy for trying to be a family man. While his polygamous relationships didn't work out, he did try to make things work for nearly 30 years. It's highly unlikely that Cody simply stayed married to the women for the sake of himself. He likely didn't realize that he only loved Robin and couldn't coexist with others. Another one of his positive traits is that he always stated what he felt. Instead of hiding his true feelings, he boldly said it out loud regardless of which Sister Wives cast member he hurt. Christine Brown gives fans a tour of her new $676,000 Erm. Sister Wives star Christine Brown likes exploring new things with her husband, David Woolley. The TLC audience loves to get new updates on the couple and their new adventures. Christine, on the other hand, loves sharing new recipes with her audience. She is also a part of TLC's Cook with Christine show. The reality TV star built a huge fan base due to her cooking videos apart from the reality TV show. Moreover, fans of the series know Christine for actively promoting the products of an MLM company. Recently, she shocked everyone after opening up about her new business plans. She opened up about the reasons for her visit to Mobe in a special post. The TLC star informed her fans that she and her husband had bought a new place to build an Erben. Moreover, she also gave her fans a quick tour of her new place. Christine Brown gives her fans a sneak peek of her Erben. Christine Brown is the perfect example of aging like fine wine. Her strength and determination are only intensifying with her age. The Sister Wives star has been surprising everyone with her new version. She is not willing to sit back and live a boring life after entering her 50s. Fans have been thinking that Christine already has a lot on her plate right now. But she surprised everyone after opening up about her new business. She took to Instagram to reveal her new Airbnb mold. The TLC star posted a lovely picture with her husband, David Wally, while posing in front of the snowy mountain backdrop. She revealed that she and her husband now have an Airbnb in Mobe, Utah. Interestingly, their new place is only 30 minutes away from the place where they tied the knot. Christine shared a few glimpses of her Airbnb. She shared the picture from the outside of her new home with a large moon decoration beside the front door. The TLC star also shared a picture of her fully furnished hallway with an L-shaped brown couch and a kitchen bar at the back. Tony suggests even a PR firm can't save Robin. Sister Wives star Tony Padron suggests that Robin Brown is beyond help from a PR firm to soften the friction among fans of the TLC series. Even if that firm is amazing, he questions what they could do for someone who despises the reality series that made her a celebrity. Tony and his wife, Michaelty Brown Padron, talked about both Robin and Cody Brown benefiting or not benefiting from the help of PR experts. Michaelty had a little more hope than Tony that it could do something to change the couple's image. Sister Wives Tony Padron describes Robin Brown's hatred. When Michaelty Brown Padron and her husband Tony Padron get chatting online, all kinds of family stuff pops up. In one of those recent live chats, the couple brings up the hatred Robin Brown harbors for having to star in Sister Wives. Tony says Robin hates being on the show. But what she hates even more is when she has to watch a scene and comment on it with the Sister Wives cameras rolling. It seems Robin Brown hates her job. From what the Sister Wives fans see on the show, this seems to be the only job she has or has had in more than a decade. That's letting the cameras film her life as it unfolds. Is Robin tortured by all aspects of stardom, except the money? Tony Padron can't emphasize enough how Robin can't stand the life of being a Sister Wives reality star, but fans chime in to comment that she's not mentioning the money aspect. She's living in a lavish home and seems to have all the baubles that money has to offer, like the finest cars. Not to mention that Robin Brown signed up for this Sister Wives lifestyle with the cameras infiltrating her life, and each time her contract ended, she re-upped with the rest of the Sister Wives family.